All right, uh, let's look at the homework 4.5, problem number two. All right, so we have this function given, and uh, we want to find the derivative of uh, this function here. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so first thing I would do is I, I, I would like to uh, simplify first. All right, so remember that uh, if you have a power here, we can place it right in front. So uh, we can re uh, we can rewrite it as um, so it's going to be uh, so it's square and five is going to be in front and then you have a natural log of x so it's going to look uh, kind of like this. All right, then I'm going to uh, distribute uh, so this square here to five so that's going to give you uh, five squared uh, twenty five so it's going to give you twenty five. But we still have to uh, square uh, the natural log of x. So we're going to have something like that. All right. So uh, this is exactly the same function as this original function. Now uh, it's, uh, we can, we're ready to take the derivative. So uh, derivative y prime is going to be, all right, so uh, this is going to be, there's a 25 is just a, a number. Um, constant multiple so 25 you can just uh, put it right in front then uh, you need to multiply uh, by the derivative of natural log of x squared All right so this is power rule put 2 in front so uh, if you put uh, 2 in front and we need to keep the natural log of x. So you have a uh, natural log of x and then subtract 1 from the power. So it's going to be a uh, natural log of uh, x to the first power. Then uh, you have to use the uh, chain rule. So you have to multiply by the derivative of inside. So inside function is natural log of x. So derivative is 1 over x, right? So you have to multiply by 1 over x, which is going to be, uh, which is going to look uh, kind of like that, right? So since, uh, you know, uh, raise it to the 1 really doesn't do anything, so I usually don't even write that down because, uh, you know, in handwriting, it looks like a prime, so it's easy to make a mistake. All right, then we, we just need to clean up a little bit. Uh, so multiply. Uh, 25 and 2, uh, we're going to get uh, 50. So you multiply these two uh, to get 50. All right, then uh, we have uh, over x. So maybe we can write a fraction. So it's going to be uh, uh, 50 over x. All right. So we combine the 25 times 2 over x. Then you have a natural log of x. So you just have to put uh, multiply by natural log of x. So which is going to uh, look uh, some, somewhat like that. All right, so uh, let's type it in. All right, so we got uh, 50 over x times natural log of, uh, natural log of uh, x. All right. Let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and it uh, looks like we got this one correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.